COVID testing is need of the hour, especially in India with having highest genetic disorder burden in the world. Over 50 million people affected with single gene disorders, over 1 million babies born each year with genetic disorders. Most of them are with congenital malformations, G6PD, Down syndrome, beta thalassemia. And that is why we need to have genetic screening. Almost 1 in 100 babies born each year with an inherited genetic disorder. Nowadays, exome sequencing is the buzz around the globe. Exome refers to the portion of human genome contains functionally important sequences of DNA that directs body to make proteins essential for body to function properly. These coding parts of the genes are being referred to as exomes. Sequencing of exonic region of the genome is what we call it as exome sequencing. Based on clinically relevant reported genes in different databases like HGMD which is Human Genome Mutation Database, OMIM which is Online Mendelian Inheritance in Man and other relevant databases, we have devised a next generation clinical exome sequencing panel which covers genes reported in clinical scientific studies associated with different human disorders. Our clinical exome sequencing comprises more than 6700 clinically relevant reported genes. Why exome sequencing is important? Molecular confirmation of a clinically diagnosed clinical diagnosis in symptomatic patients, assessment for a family member at risk. Third, testing is currently recommended for patients with a suspected genetic disorder in whom traditional gen genetic testing has not yielded any results, that is, disease of unknown etiology. Clinical exome sequencing may also be considered as a first line of testing strategy for conditions with high degree of genetic heterogeneity for which panel based testing is either limited or unavailable. Clinical exome is also useful in cases with atypical presentation of genetic disorders. The results of clinical exome possibly leads to the improvement in treatment and patient care. To summarize, Clinical exome is thought to be an efficient and focused method of analyzing patients' DNA to discover the genetic cause of diseases and disabilities. There are approximately 180,000 exomes in human genome, which represents about 1 to 2 percent of genome. These 180,000 exomes are arranged in about 22,000 genes. A recently publication in Genetics in Medicine, a clinical utility of whole exome sequencing versus conventional genetic testing in pediatric neurology. The authors depicted 150 consecutive patients consulted in clinical practice of pediatric neurology. The conclusion of the study was whole exome sequencing identified significantly more conclusive diagnosis with around 29.3% diagnostic yield than standard care pathway which is just 7.3% without incurring higher cost. Exploratory analysis of whole exome sequencing as a first tier diagnostic test indicate that whole exome sequencing may even be cost effective depending upon the extent of other tests being omitted. Exome sequencing is based on Next generation sequencing, which is having high throughput, massively parallel, deep sequencing. The results are reported based on ACMG guidelines, which are being followed around the globe. ACMG, American College of Medical Genetics. So there are basically five categories. Pathogenic, likely pathogenic, VUS, variant of unknown significance, likely benign and benign. Coming to the first category, pathogenic, a disease causing variation in a gene which can explain the patient's symptoms has been detected. This usually means that a suspected disorder for which 
testing had been requested has been confirmed. Second category, likely pathogenic. A variant which is very likely to contribute to the development of disease. However, the scientific evidence is currently insufficient to prove this conclusive. Additional evidence is expected to confirm this assertion of pathogenicity. Third category, variant of unknown or uncertain significance. A variant has been detected but is difficult to classify it as either pathogenic that is disease causing or benign that is non-disease causing based on current available scientific evidence. Further testing of the patient or family members are recommended by your clinician. It is probable that their significance can be assessed over time subject to availability of scientific evidence. The other two categories likely benign and benign are being omitted from the clinical report because these are also present in normal population. For these exome based NGs based testings we require 5 to 10, 10 ml of EDTA blood. We extract DNA from EDTA blood, sequence the DNA using massively parallel NGs based testing, analyze it using different bioinformatics softwares and report it further. The requirements are we need to have completely filled TRFs which are test acquisition form, relevant clinical information including all the clinical presentations and symptoms withholding any clinical or medical information including patient's family history or consanguinity may impact test results and their interpretation. Our exome sequencing panel involves next-gen clinical exome sequencing basic, next-gen clinical exome sequencing advanced which covers more than 6700 genes as I mentioned previously. This also includes Sanger validation. Next gen clinical exome sequencing ultra, which covers more than 19,000 genes along with Sanger validation. Next gen clinical exome sequencing reflex, which involves the Sanger confirmation of the pathogenic variant in both the parents. And lastly, next gen clin whole exome sequencing, which covers all the 22,000 exomes of all the 22,000 genes. We are offering pair-ended NGS-based exome sequencing with a mean coverage of around 100x using Illumina platforms. We are offering better debt and price as per clinician requirements. Dr. Lal Path Labs provides an end-to-end -end integrated solution to clinical genomics in India and is highly focused on Indian population. Thank you.